This short video will show you how to configure one side management of a router running Digi Accelerated Linux. This will allow you to manage the DAL router from over the internet using HTTPS or SSH for example. The default settings on a DAL router do not allow you to manage it via the internet connected interfaces. This could be a wired one interface or the cellular interface. For this demo I'm using an iX20 with firmware version 22.5.50.62. I've opened up the web interface on the iX20 and logged in. You can see at the top there are two tabs open. The one on the left is connected through the LAN interface and I'm using the setup IP address 192.168.210.1. The tab on the right is using the WAN interface IP address 172.17.0.20 and this is currently unreachable. This status page shows that the Ethernet 1 interface, which is the WAN side interface, has the IP address 172.17.020/24 and the setup IP address 192.168.210.1/24 is connected to Ethernet 2 via the LAN bridge. To configure the router, click on system device configuration. The first task is to check which firewall zones are assigned to the existing interfaces. Go into network, interfaces, and then ethernet one, which is the wired WAN interface. And here we can see that the firewall zone is set to external. Checking the cellular interface, which is currently disabled, the zone is also set to external. But for the purposes of this demo, we'll only be using the wired WAN interface. Close this section and go into Services. In here are the Web Administration and SSH services for Router Administration. Click on Web Administration to expand that section and then into the Access Control list. Expanding the IPv4 and IPv6 sections allows you to add specific IP addresses or network ranges. For example, if I needed to allow the source IP address 11.12.13.14, I could enter that address here. To allow multiple addresses from that same network range, we can enter those here. An alternative method would be to add the external zone to the zones list. Click on add, select external. Be aware though that the ACL list uses an OR operator, meaning that any match in the ACL will allow access. IP addresses if configured or any configured zones that match. And now we do the same for SSH into the ACL and I'm just going to add the external zone. Click apply and then back to the tab with the one side IP address and that page has now loaded so I've now got access to this router via its wired WAN interface and I can log in. I'll go back to the LAN side configuration page and just scroll down through the services and just point out to you the ping responder service. The ping responder service is enabled by default which allows the DAL router to respond to ICMP echo requests on any interface from any source IP address. You can either disable the ping responder service by changing the enable button or you can just add in the interfaces that you wish the ping responder service to run on. Adding the LAN side interface only will stop the ping responder service from running on the WAN interface, Ethernet 1. That's the end of this demo. For more information on this or any other feature of your DAL router, please see the documentation pages at digi.com support.